everyone. Welcome back to Live Your Style. I'm Shara. And today we are going to talk about my hair. Well, kind of. We are going to talk about weddings. So you guys know we did a very big wedding series on my channel and on my mom's channel called Wedding Wednesdays. If you guys have not seen that, I will link the playlist below. You guys can binge watch them all. In fact, I think I need to watch them again because I haven't watched them in a long time. And they were so fun to make. We basically made videos all about the wedding planning process and we have our wedding video in there so you can see how it all ended up and all the things that we chose. So since we're entering wedding season again, I thought that I would make a video kind of reflecting back on our wedding. We loved everything about our wedding. We had the most amazing time. Um, to be honest, we probably, we wouldn't have redone anything, but in retrospect, there's things that we learned along the way that I wouldn't have redone, but I definitely probably would advise some people to like think through a little more. And I thought maybe you guys could learn from some of the things that we did that we loved and some of the things that we did that we maybe didn't love in our wedding and share the top five things with you guys in a video. So without further ado, all y'all should subscribe. All y'all should hit the like button. Leave me a comment. If you're married, if you're single, if you're dating, if you're engaged, leave which one you are below. Cause I wanna get to know you guys better. Okay. Oh, and you haven't followed on Instagram, you should do that too because we do a lot of fun little tutorials and Q and A's and stuff on there. Let's jump into this week's video, wedding edition. Oh, oh. Number one, don't change your skincare a couple of months before the wedding. I know everyone says this and I knew this in my own head and I didn't think it'd be an issue. Really sweet, my dad gave me this great gift before the wedding for me to get a few different facials from this lady and it was such a thoughtful gift um, that I thought, okay, great. It was like four weeks before the wedding and it wasn't that she did anything bad to my skin, it was just I have sensitive skin and there were new products being used on it and facials in general if you don't get them a lot can bring up a lot of the old gunk that's underneath your skin. So me having stepped into getting facials regularly for those four weeks before the wedding, it was just kind of like not a, the best timing. Um, and it did cause my skin to break out a lot, but luckily I had the best glam squad ever, kissed by AML if you're in the San Diego area or anywhere really, I think they travel. They were miracle workers and they did cover up a lot of my blemishes. They made me look amazing. I loved the way that my hair and makeup turned out for my wedding. Um, and that really does affect the way you feel as a bride. So if you need a good hair and makeup team, call my people, because they're really good. Which leads me to number two, don't lose your hair extensions. <laughs> For me, um, I sillyly, stupidly, sleepily <laughs> took out my hair extensions the night before. All of my bridesmaids, we stayed in this one big suite at the hotel we got married at. And I was sitting in the room, talking with them, taking out my hair extensions from the re rehearsal dinner. And I do this thing where I like put them all together and I brush them and then I kind of like wrap them around my hand and then I stick them in a bag, like the little silk bag that they come in. And then I put that bag in the bags that were on my lap and they were like gift bags from the, someone giving us a gift. And I didn't really think about it. I put it in the corner and there was 13 girls staying in this big giant penthouse suite and things got moved around and put in other corners. I totally forgot where I put them. So the morning of when I was getting ready and they had to put all my extensions in to curl them, I could not find them anywhere. And all of my bridesmaids, bless their hearts, were literally tearing the whole room upside down. They were like dumpster diving. <laughs> we were terrified that someone threw them away on accident. Um, and well, moral of the story is just don't lose them because it makes for a lot less stressful situation. It did end up totally fine. I had a backup set of extensions that we put in and after she had put the backup set in, we ended up finding the original set. So we added those in too. So if you notice that my hair looks seven times as thick in my wedding, that's why, because it was. Which also, if you look back at my hair, it was three different ways that day, which was uh, good in theory, but not the best decision if you have a fall wedding and you are uh, dealing with sunlight. So the, the sun actually set at 445 on our wedding day, which was kind of a bummer, but there wasn't anything we could do about that. So the fact that I, I really wanted my hair half up, half down with the veil as when we walked down the aisle, and then I really wanted my hair all the way up for the reception, 
because I had that great dress that had the open back, if you guys remember, and that awesome uh, like back jewelry thing that I had designed by Mora Designs Jewelry, if you've seen that piece. I'll link it if you are a bride and looking for a cool back necklace. But anyway, I wanted to show off that part of the dress, so I wanted my hair up for the reception. And in between, I wanted some pictures at my wedding with my hair all the way down, because I love having my hair down, especially when it's curly and I have extensions in. In between the ceremony and the reception, we did a hair change. And in my mind, I thought, oh, if it's half up, half down, it'll just be loosely pinned up and then we'll just take it down and we'll be fine. Well, when you're doing bridal hair, it's, everything's really secure. You've got a lot of bobby pins in there, so a lot of hair gets kinked. It just took a lot longer than I thought, and my hair girls were so gracious and speedy with the time that they had, but it still took like maybe 30 minutes in between, and that was 30 minutes of light we could have used. So looking back, if you guys are planning fall weddings and you think you wanna have a bunch of different hair changes or anything that's not photos, like I wish I would have spent all that time on pictures, um, but I say that, but then I look back at the pictures that I did get with my hair down, and they are by far my favorite photos from our wedding. So I don't really know if I would have done it over differently. It's just something I noticed. The third thing that I would have maybe done a little bit differently, um, if you guys are like me and you love the idea of having strings playing as you walk down the aisle, um, we were on a golf course. We had a four violinists and cellists and strings going on during the um, pre-ceremony when the guests were being seated. And then when we did the processional, there's this song, if you guys remember, actually I'm not even gonna tell you the song. This is a good question and test for those that followed. Who remembers the song that I was obsessed with that I wanted to walk down the aisle to? It's a mashup mix, I'll give you that tip. So leave me your comments if you remember the song I'm referring to, but this song, was a uh, mixture of piano and of strings, and we could not get a piano down on the golf course. That we, I think they drew the line at piano on the golf course. It was hard to have them play that live. I wanted to play like the track on speakers. Well, what I've learned is if you have the option to have live music play during your wedding, it is much better to do that because there are no glitches, there's no audio issues when someone's there live and they're playing. They sound beautiful. They have control over when they start and stop and when the pace changes when you walk down the aisle. And when you're doing it to a song or whatever, you have a lot more room for things to go wrong or the timing to get messed up and stuff like that. So that's just one. No, we don't do that on camera. That's just one of those things that I would totally recommend do live strings versus playing a song. And then you don't have to even worry about it. But at the end of the day, you know, you're not, as a bride, you're not even really noticing. Um, you just kind of find out about it after, but you're just so happy to be there and happy that it's your wedding day. The fourth thing we would have done a little differently is probably adjusted the reception flow. Um, our wedding planners gave us like five or six different like options to choose from based on how we wanted their whole reception ceremony process to go. So you can pick like if you wanna have all your speeches together or if you wanna have your speeches spread out or if you want which, which dances you're gonna do, if you're gonna do a cake cutting at the beginning or the end or whatever. So you have to pick all of those things. Well, for us, we had four speeches. Um, a mother, son, and a father-daughter dance, our first dance, a cake cutting, and I don't know what else, but we had a lot of things we wanted to fit into it. So we kind of decided we wanted to break it up because we thought, well, our guests aren't gonna wanna sit there and just have to watch this whole performance for 35 minutes, 40 minutes. Let's do five minutes here and 10 minutes here and 15 minutes there and sprinkle it through. It was great in theory, however, um, usually when you sit down, the bride and groom eat quickly first to get some food in their stomachs, and then they have a process and a time where everyone's eating for 30 minutes straight, and then all of the festivities begin. Um, because we didn't do it that way, I felt like we didn't get to go around and see all the different tables and greet our guests as much. We got to see people during the dancing and everything, but I don't know, I felt like we missed out on that opportunity to see people while they were eating and say hi. So I wish we could have seen more people because it's just the day flies by so fast and it's hard to spend time with everyone, but at least while everyone is seated, you have time to kind of like get to different tables. So if you guys are planning your weddings, just be mindful of that and think about your priorities. Um, and at the end of the day, people are there to celebrate you. So if they sit there for 25 minutes and watch your festivities take place for all the different speeches and stuff, like that's why they're there. So I think that's totally fine. Hopefully that helps. Number five, last but not least, and most importantly, I would have eaten 
some ice cream sandwiches, and some breakfast burritos. Those were our late night little uh, snack and desserts that we had, and I was so busy changing and dancing and like doing, seeing all of our friends, which like, I mean, to be honest, this is kind of a funny one. I wouldn't have changed it. I wanted to be hanging out with everybody, but somehow I did miss the ice cream sandwich and the breakfast burrito, but somehow Tyler got both of them and he said they were great. So that was good to know. But maybe just like, if you guys have snacks like that at your wedding, you guys need to like pick, you know, maybe your maid of honor or someone to make sure that they grab one for you because I'm telling you, everyone wants to take pictures and then you're dancing and you lose all track of time when you're dancing so you're having way too much fun. Next thing you know, the breakfast burritos are gone and you don't know what happened, you know? I would have had Scout in our wedding. Come here. Just kidding, I wouldn't have had her, but I would have liked to have you. You would have been a really hairy, fur furry flower girl. Okay, she's like, I'm gonna go hide. Okay, and before I close this video out, here are a few little things that I definitely would have done again and that I thought made our wedding so special. The first, I love the fact that I switched up my dresses. I thought that was really fun because um, I had this definite vision of like what I wanted to get married in, which was a little bit more princessy and more conservative. And then what I wanted to have at the reception was a little bit sexier and more fun and just a little bit um, easier to dance in and move around in. Um, and then I just ended up wearing the same outfit when we left, you know, we did the sparkler exit, which I, again, highly recommend. That was some of the best pictures ever. I'll put some of those in this video somewhere. They were fabulous. Um, but I loved the uh, outfit I wore as, during the exit. It was just my rehearsal dinner outfit. It was a skirt and a top that was beaded. And it looks like a dress, but it wasn't. Something else I really loved, too, after the cocktail hour, leading our guests up to the serum or the reception, we had the strings, the different people that were in the quartet, they were kind of lined. It was like kind of a little walkway through these trees to get to the reception. And we had um, each person that played strings kind of like stagger throughout the walkway leading to the reception to kind of like play a pretty song. And it kind of just set the mood and the ambiance for the reception, which was like just so dreamy and the hanging lights everywhere and canopies and trees and this brick courtyard, it was just so beautiful. So I thought that was really special. And we also had these big balloons that had, um, they were big black balloons. We had different Bible verses that were written in calligraphy on those balloons and it just looked so pretty and elegant and different. And I don't know, it was just like a really special touch. I also really did love, and I got a lot of good feedback from all of our guests about the ice cream sandwiches that we had. Cause we, we did have a cake, which was like a traditional you know dessert. But the ice cream sandwiches were just fun and kind of like a refreshing, like tasty treat when you would get off the dance floor. Um, Cause it could get warm, you know? And then we also had the breakfast burritos at the very end of the wedding, which was like super fun and unique. I've loved having those. Even though I didn't get to try them, people said they were delicious, so that was cool. And the band, like 100%, if you guys have an option to choose a live band over a DJ, choose a live band every time. I was kind of worried like the wedding singer, was that gonna feel nerdy and weird and how do you know that's gonna go over well? But like totally 100,000% people are way more likely to get up and dance when you have this like live entertainment happening in front of you, especially when they're good. Our band that performed at our wedding was incredible if you guys are in the area. And again, they travel as well. The band's name is Sirens Crush. Um, they're just like, I don't know, they were just so lively and their voices were so good and they were just like entertainers. It was just really fun. And it definitely gave another like fun element to our wedding. And then our photo booth was super, super fun. They, if you guys have seen that, there's like a picture that I love of Tyler and I and it was a silly squished nose kissing picture but the background was like this pink sequin glittery background. I don't know, it's like one of my favorite pictures of us. It's really cute. I have it framed somewhere around the house. Oh, I really loved our cocktails that we had. At the cocktail hour, we had like the blushing bride type cocktail. I don't even remember what I picked. Oh, it was like a sangria, a sparkling sangria. Cause one of our colors was this like berry uh, fig color because we had the light blush 
and then we had to make it a little darker because it was winter, almost about to be December and we're in November, so we wanted to make it a little more fall. Um, so we added some of the berry to it, so it was like a berry sparkling sangria was the blushing bride option. And then there was also this amazing, yummy Moscow Mule drink that was Tyler's and it was called About Fig in Time. Get it? They put fig and they put time in it, but it, yeah, it was cute. And I loved all of our rentals. You guys, I just loved everything about our wedding. Our wedding was just so fun. I wish you could just relive it. I mean, the wedding video that we had made that if you guys need a good wedding videographer, I cannot say enough good things about Aquavivas. They were the first thing that I wanted when we started planning a wedding. Like I called them immediately and made sure they were available. Um, I don't know, it's really, it's a really special, unique, art to be able to tell someone else's love story in a way that's compelling and like hits everyone that watches it in a deep, meaningful way. And this guy and his team, they're just like so good. So if you guys need a wedding videographer, you need to call Aquavivas because they are worth it. A thousand and twenty billion percent. And I'm so glad that we had our wedding planners. They were a lifesaver, lifesavers. Because they honestly, they just take care of everything for you. I can't imagine if I, I mean, I was pretty heavily involved in the wedding planning process, but up to like, I think it was like a month before the wedding, our wedding planners came to me and they're like, okay, share up. So now is the time that you bow out and you don't get to t think about your wedding anymore until you show up and you just get to enjoy the family that's gonna come into town and your fiance and getting excited for your wedding and just like breathe and have fun. Like having that, um, help in that like even if you don't have a fancy wedding planner have your friends you know or your parents or someone be able to get involved to help you be able to step back a little bit um, because that I don't know just like you need to be able to stop and take it in oh I remember another thing that I liked I just realized during your wedding you should find someone to come up to you and whisper in your ear to pause and look around and take it all in like have them do that four or five times throughout the night um, even like when you're getting ready in the morning because your wedding day goes by so quickly like literally so quickly Everyone says try to take it all in it's impossible to slow time down obviously But if you guys can try to pause and you can look around several different times throughout the night and Take all the different faces in and just enjoy and not just let the night happen and go by You'll be able to truly like I don't know just be able to soak it up even more and Make it more memorable, make it last longer. Oh, and the last tip I could even like think of that I would ever give someone, someone told me before my wedding. When you go into your wedding day, expect that something will go wrong. Just like tell yourself something is gonna go wrong today. And when it does, don't get mad about it and just tell yourself, okay, that's my thing that goes wrong. Like one of my friends forgot her veil. That to me would be devastating. But she was like, no, it's okay, you guys. That's my thing. That's what goes wrong for my wedding. And that's not a bad thing. Like if, if anything, if that's the thing that goes terribly wrong in my wedding, then like I may, I've got it good, which is a really good perspective to have. So if you guys are freaking out about your weddings or whatever, or you're like kind of anxious people, just tell yourself something's gonna go wrong, prepare yourself mentally, and then just let it happen when it does and keep on moving and enjoy the day. Cause it's not a big deal at the end of the day. But just enjoy it, because this is like the best time of your entire life. And it's gonna happen and go by, but you just wanna like soak it in and have fun and make good memories and just laugh and dance and eat cake and ice cream sandwiches and breakfast burritos, if you can. Do that. Okay, you guys, that is all I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tip video. Hopefully you can learn from some of the things from our wedding. Hopefully you're inspired to do some different things in your wedding. Um, and again, don't forget to leave me your relationship status below. If you're married, if you're single, if you're dating, I just wanna know how many married peeps I got out there, you know? How many engaged wedding planners? Okay, I'm gonna go before this gets any more weird. I'm just getting delirious because I've been talking for hours on end. Love you all. Bye-bye, subscribe, see you next time.